my name is Mark Peterson from r &M, and today I'm going to show you the basic operation and maintenance of our Mark 6 Rockhawk. The Mark 6 Rockhawk comes standard with your electric start 13 horsepower motor. Uh, standard features, choke, fuel off and on, you have your throttle system, your electric start here. Basic maintenance of this motor, air cleaner which should be clean once a day in the dusty atmosphere that it's in, uh, you have your standard oil dipstick here. On this side of the Mark Rock 6 Rock Hawk, you have three grease certs that are internal in your guard system. Um, all three can be accessed through holes that are drilled in the guard system here. On this side of the unit, we have three bearings here that are easily accessible that need to be greased, and then two that are on the jaw bearings that need to be accessed through two holes in the back of the safety guard. On this side of the unit, you do have an adjustment here, these two one-inch thread rods adjust the position of your jaw. You run these in to decrease the amount of space between your stationary plate and your jaw plate. Uh, one note on these two is you want to make sure that these lock nuts are down tight during operation. You do not want these to vibrate in or out during operation. The main feature of this is to, to adjust the size of your material falling into your rollers, the larger the size, the faster crush you'll get, but not as good a crush. So you, I try to make let the jaw do most of the work. The other feature on this is your jaw plates wear. You can adjust those in to keep your crush and get a longer wear plate life. Basic operation of your Mark 6 Rock Hawk. You have your engagement system here. After the motor start, you have a simple pin system engaging the system and then locking it into drive. On your mini mill unit, you will have a valve down here that controls the ratio of water to solid mixture. On this side of the unit, you have your spring system, which adjusts the spring tension pressure of the idler roller into your drive roller. These bolts, two nuts here, can be ran back to increase the spring pressure or decrease the spring pressure. Back here, you have two nuts that are used to pull a, the idler roller away from the drive roller. These two nuts can also be used in the unfortunate case you do jam up the unit. These bolts can be ran in, pulling this idler roller completely away from the drive roller, allowing that jam material to fall through. The unit also has a hole drilled here in your jaw shaft that you can stick a unit to turn the jaw in order to unplug the system. Basic feeding operation of the Mark 6 Rock Hog once the unit is engaged and running. I have found uh, two different ways. Uh, one, you can just simply shovel the material into the hopper this way. Um, every now and then you'll get one that'll fall over. Yeah, shouldn't be. Everything's built out of metal, so it's not really an issue. Uh, the other system is the good old miner's bucket. Uh, you can simply just feed the, the material through here with the bucket. I do suggest until you get to know your ore is to feed it slowly. Um, every ore is a little bit different in a, any jaw crusher. If the material does not fall through the jaw fast enough, you will get an accumulation up here that will uh, cause the system to jam. So until you get to know your ore, I would just suggest feeding it slowly and then you can just slowly add until you get it. 